paranitroanilene is a precursor to many azotides like para red, magnesium 1 and 2. It is prepared by nitrating acetanilide and then hydrolyzing the latter. It is not prepared directly from aniline because oxidation of aniline occurs and unwanted products are formed. Hence, the amine group can be protected by acylation. Then it can be safely nitrated. So, these are the chemicals required. Acetanilide, glacial acetic acid, concentrated sulfuric acid, concentrated nitric acid and sodium hydroxide. So, first of all, we start by taking 5 grams of acetanilide into a small 100 ml beaker. To the acetanilide, I will be adding 5 ml of glacial acetic acid. Glacial acetic acid is used to prevent hydrolysis of acetanilide by shifting the equilibrium to left side. Dissolve it well in, in glacial acetic acid. Ten ml of concentrated sulfuric acid was added. On adding sulfuric acid, the solution cleared up. Then this was placed in an ice bath. Meanwhile, nitrating mixture was also prepared. So first we take the beaker in an ice bath. 2.5 ml of concentrated nitric acid was added in a beaker. To this, 1.5 ml of concentrated sulfuric acid will be added drop wise. So, a thermometer was placed inside the beaker to monitor the temperature and the solution was chilled to 0 degree celsius. So after chilling the mixture up to 0 degree celsius, the nitrating mixture was added drop wise with constant stirring, taking care that on each addition, the temperature does not rise higher than 10 degree celsius. So what's happening here is acetanilide is getting nitrated at ortho and para position. Low temperature favors the formation of para product. Acetanilide is ortho para directing. Therefore, the electrophile nitronium ion attacks at ortho and para position. The ortho nitroacetanilide is water soluble, hence it can be separated by water. So after the addition was complete, the reaction mixture is taken out and kept for 1 hour at room temperature. After 1 hour, the solution is slowly poured into ice cold water. with constant stirring you can see that paranitroacetanilide is getting precipitated the ortho product being more soluble stays in solution the precipitate is then filtered using vacuum filtration through my DIY Buchner funnel.
the precipitate is washed a couple of times with distilled water this is the para nitro acetanilide now we will prepare 25 ml of 70% sulfuric acid solution so for that in a beaker we will take 10 ml of water and to this we will add 15 ml of concentrated sulfuric acid you can see that on adding sulfuric acid to water water starts boiling since the reaction is exothermic we have to slowly add the sulfuric acid so now we prepare sodium hydroxide solution for that i have taken 22 grams of sodium hydroxide in a beaker and to this now we will add 100 ml of distilled water and make a solution the product paranitroacetanilide now i will take this in a flat bottom flask <coughs> the paranitro acid and that is transferred into the flat bottom flask to this we will add 70% of uh, concentrated sulfuric acid solution that we have prepared so the flask was set with a reflux condenser on the top and the contents were gently heated with a spirit lamp for half an hour so what's happening here is paranitroacetanilide is getting hydrolyzed to paranitroaniline and acetic acid the paranitroaniline exists in solution as hydrosulfate salt <coughs> now this hot solution is cooled to room temperature and then poured into chilled ice cold water which already has some ice in it now to this solution we will add our previously prepared sodium hydroxide solution with constant stirring on adding sodium hydroxide the paranitroaniline is precipitated from its hydrochloride salt sorry hydrosulfate salt On adding, you can check the pH of the solution with this pH paper. You can see that the solution is now neutral. That means we have to add more sodium, sodium hydroxide. So over here I am adding some more 5% sodium hydroxide solution that I had and then I will check the pH of the solution. You can see that the pH of the solution is highly basic.
which corresponds to a pH of 13 or 14. This precipitate was filtered off using vacuum filtration. Then the precipitate is washed a couple of times with distilled water. The orange color of the filtrate indicates that there is orthonitroaniline present inside the filtrate so this was discarded and the precipitate is transferred into a beaker this is the crude paranitroaniline so we'll be purifying it by recrystallization to the precipitate Hot 50% ethanol water solution was added slowly with stirring until a clear solution was obtained. In total, 120 ml of solution was used. So now when everything has been dissolved, this beaker is put into an ice bath to chill. On recrystallization, Yellow needle shaped crystals of paranitroaniline were formed, which were filtered off using Buchner funnel. The crystals were dried, and the final yield was 2.5 grams, which corresponds to percentage yield of 49% based on acetanilide. The yield was decent enough.